So what up dudes? This week, I put together a bunch of random footage to look at. We got rained out last Friday really bad. Um, Thursday last week, I think it was last week, it was last week, we had a huge hail storm, dented my car, there's hail coming in this weekend. So I really got to get down on cleaning out this garage, I got rid of the ramp, you're going to see it in this video, um, and uh, a lot of a lot of random clips in here. I clean out my garage. I do sort of a, a first impression on a Travex wallet. Um, I talk about some of the kids' bikes, what they're riding, dirt bikes I want to get fixed, you know. Um, I'm kind of in the market for some sort of electric vehicle to ride um, for the YouTube channel and for fun. So I'm curious what you have. What you've written, what you like, what you don't like, what you recommend, you know, because I don't have the money to buy a bunch of these things. Uh, I'd like to not screw up the first time. I've ridden a one wheel and I've talked to some guys that ride one wheels and eh, sort of hit and miss on those, you know. I don't want that one wheel dive happening on me, but I'm just curious of what you're riding. So in the comments below, if you could let me know, that'd be great. I also talk about a generator I found at Sam's Club. I don't know if it's a good generator. I suspect it may be a little loud, but the price seemed pretty cheap. So check that out, and uh, it's a bunch of randomness. Anyway, enjoy the video, man. Later. So guys, check out this tie-down job here. He's got a door, a bunch of studs, and then he's got a couple of foam pieces of insulation. One inch, three of them. And then two pieces of masonite on top of that. On just a standard stock roof rack. Welcome to Texas. Dude, luckily I found a bank. Look at that. I'm going to get that thing working again. Aftermarket fuel tank. Gonna get that bike running for the kids. I'm gonna get that thing running again. Get a new commute out of that since gas prices are going up. I'm all about it. Got a bunch of old kids' bikes need to get rid of. Look at this. Look at this. This is a garage fridge. This was a tiny fridge we used for too many years when we were more poor. We're doing a little better now. We updated our fridge. We got lucky. You know how hard because of this uh, lack in the supply chain um refrigerator has been hard to come by and uh, i just happened to go into home depot the other day and uh they ordered a floor model of a particular fridge and they accidentally delivered two so your old boy me i snagged it that day when i was like what's this box doing here which fridge is it let me get on that got that fridge like right now I think it was at Costco last year. Seth uh, was digging that for a little while. Still likes it. He rides that because he doesn't have to wear his helmet in that. So, yeah, it's kind of funny. My wife's rocking. Let's see, bikes. My wife is riding one of these a big box aluminum framed specials. A Schwinn. And uh, these are the kids' old bikes. These are royal pieces of crap. Uh, that little Schwinn, <laughs> it's, a, it's a little Schwinn, right? Do you hang on to that one? I don't know. So these are what the kids are riding. My daughter's got a pretty decently equipped Sunday. Seth is on a coaster brake Haro. Killian's got a freewheel Haro. Both little shredders. Those are 20 inch though. Dude, where's the ramp? What happened to the ramp, Killian? I don't know. Did we lose the ramp? Oh, hell no. We spent a couple weeks taking that ramp down. We felt it. I felt it. You didn't feel it. You worked hard, though. You worked really hard. You actually made some money on that. What'd you get? You worked for Dad. You, he took all the, all the, all the two-by-fours off the ramp, pretty much. What'd you buy with the money you made that weekend? Oh, he got the uh, uh, gaming steering wheel set up. Show us what it looks like when you're driving. See? <laughs> Yeah, so when he plays his driving game, what game do you play? Uh, Crew 2. Crew 2. So now he does it with steering wheel and gas pedal and all that, brake pedal. But uh, 
so I do some really rustic, you know, I love two by fours, nothing like a straight two by four for me. And, uh, I just needed more counter space, big generator under there. Storage is an issue, but you know, at 51, I decided I didn't want to crawl over the transition of that ramp getting out of the garage. It was rather dangerous. And you put yourself a pair of socks on, you're in trouble, dude. You slip, you feel that adductor fire, abductor, I don't know what you call it. I'm mostly better, but uh, still haven't sold that welder. Anybody need a welder? All right, so what's the reason for the video? I seen Casey Neistat do that. <laughs> I figured I'd try it. I've seen every YouTuber do that. So I'm gonna do that too. What do we got in here? Wait, anybody have a clue? Trayvax. So I figured I was always a chain wallet guy, you know, dug it back in the 90s. That was cool. And uh, my current wallet is a minimalist kind of wallet. I don't have it on me right now. I'd show you. Um, first reaction to opening one of these. I apologize for the mess in this garage. You know, there's stuff everywhere. I need to get rid of that saw. That compressor needs a new switch. I got chainsaws. The generator needs a new gas tank right here. Gonna have to fix that. Does anybody know how to fix a generator, man? It's gonna be a YouTube video. I know I talked about this before in some footage that probably got deleted. This was my grandfather's vice on my mom's side. And uh, this is part of the reason I got rid of the ramp because I wanted to hook up that vice. So, and just having a big workbench area to work on bikes or skateboards or whatever, I thought was cool. Oh, what was I here for? This. What do I got? What is this? Um, so what do we get here? Element, raw, tobacco, no engraving. Coupon, Talon Say. Talon Say, 10. I used your uh, discount code and I appreciate it, homie. Pretty rad. It says, give this to a friend. Built by Mary. So Mary, Mary built mine. I heard that they put the person's name who built your wallet. Why am I giving this to a friend? Oh, this is another wallet? This is another wallet right here. Check that out. Credit cards, cash, chain. For the chain wallets, yo. Yo, I've been getting a lot of crap by some people saying... I don't deserve to say the word yo as, as if I'm some sort of poser. What's up with that, dude? I've been saying yo since I was this big. Ow. Yeah, anyway, you got a free wallet there. You got to have a credit card, homie. You don't have a credit card. Hold on, let's just leave it here for now. Here, you can have it. You can have it. He can have it, right? He can carry a picture of his dad in there. All right, so the box. Wait. Yeah, I'm gonna have some adventures with this. Let's open it up. Let's see what we. Woo! <laughs> First impressions. Okay, so I got the element. I uh, I like the contour. It was a real hard choice. Um, it's a little bigger than the current um, fossil piece of leather. I had like a leather wallet this size. Held some cards. I think it had three slots. A slot in the back. And uh, it had a money clip, which I got on the lathe and cut the money clip off just because it took up too much space, I thought. Um, so let's see. We've got this little latch here. I've watched a lot of videos. All right, so that's pretty cool. So you hold it what, like that. So I guess there's a money clip back here. How do the cards come out? Okay, so I think I've seen in videos where they push the cards out here, which doesn't seem to be working. So here's the wallet I've been using. Um, it's got a slot in the side where I keep some cash. How many bills do I got in there? Let's see what I got in there right now. 20, 40, 
five. Okay, so that's uh, what? One, two, three, four, five bills. Fold it up. Keeps it in there fine. I hold much more than that most of the time. In the back, got my Sam's Club card. I just canceled Costco. I just didn't like the way they are at that front desk, you know? They're a little hardcore on that, and I did not appreciate it. Things got worse as my town and city are getting more mellow. Um, so I went to Sam's instead. Honestly, I'm quite happy with this. Um, and then I carry, like, fishing license. And I don't know why this thing in Texas has to be so big. I'm told I got to carry all of it. Is that true? Can anybody let me know about that? Because I fished once. One time, and it seems like a lot to carry. So let me try to fit this in the other wallet. It's really tight. It's way too tight. So let me just... Dude, that was just one card. All right, so I think I can push this leather through here. Oh, look at that. That got real easy, really fast. All right, so let's do these cards again. So I get the feeling, I get the feeling this is really going to need to break in, this leather. Like I can loosen it up to hold a lot more cards. Okay, driver's license. I suppose I could put that on the back. So far, it's not a very easy to use wallet at all. I'll be honest. Cool looking? Sure. There's no adjustment. On this one side I'll be honest things are so tight in this wallet I'm just not sure I dig it right now it's this wallet's not gonna be easy to use I'm gonna end up having if I need to go go for something like my uh, my fishing license forget about it dude. I'm gonna set everything down I'm gonna have to undo this whole wallet like this pull it all out shuffle through it I'm gonna drop some stuff over in the water and uh, so far, I'm not sure this is right for me at all. Tuck this in. All right, fold it over. Where's my cash? Do you take my cash? You took my cash? No. Ah, he's not at that age yet. He's only 10. So I got my cash still. All right, so the cash fits pretty nice down into like a recessed area. So I don't honestly see that taking up any more space. So that's kind of good. So. Let's see. Very similar. So there used to be a money clip that came off the back of this. Um, this is very small. I've used this. This has been good. This leather, the stitching, it's finally coming apart like up here. But honestly, I've probably used this wallet, I, I want to say, more than 10 years. Easy. Okay, so the latch is working good. Get the strap out of the way to, to access your cash. Pretty easy to get your cash out. Oh, it comes out this side. Okay, hold on. Duh, dude. I figured that way wrong. So look, okay, it gets a little easier now. It's just that strap, push it out. All right, so that gets a little easier. Yeah, smell it, dude. You like it? It's yeah. good, huh? It's got some, uh, it's got some, 
jimping on the side. <laughs> Dude, you could almost make a, you could almost saw something with that. From old to new. Like I said, I like wearing a chain wallet and my boy here has been wearing one. So I figured what kind of wallets do they have that are way smaller than those out of the pocket biker kind of chain wallets? Cause those are I'm not tri folding anything anymore, man, because that sciatic nerve gets off balance and it's just not worth all the back pain, right? So this wallet's been great. If you're looking for a small wallet, I love this thing forever. Kind of want to, get back to uh, a chain wallet though because uh, that's just a rad style that I kind of miss so I'm not sure I'm not sure how it's gonna work but it's pretty cool looking I'm gonna try it I'll come back I think if I like the wallet I can kind of see myself going the way of the contour Travax contour yeah it's got the it's got the ring over on the side they did give me this wallet for free. It's pretty solid. It's pretty solid. Um, that's super small though. Killian's gonna end up wearing that. So anyway, there it is. I'll report back and let you know what, I, what it's like to use. I'm not sure I'm gonna love it, but maybe I will. And maybe I'll go back to Trayvax to get that contour wallet because that's really the one I was eyeballing. One more thing to add. How does it feel in my pocket? It's definitely a little bigger than the other wallet. A little heavier. Doesn't seem to be a problem. None of this really matters until we see how it works for at least a week or two. I do like to carry around cash. And a lot of times I like to carry around a little more than maybe the average person, you know? So um, that's why I ended up going with this one with the flap, because I figured I could put more cash in there. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it goes. What's up? What's up? Check it out here. I've been uh, wanting to get a generator since the freeze. Um, yeah, I showed you in the other video, I got a 7,000 watt under my workbench there. It's got a rusted gas tank, just because I never used it for years. I'm not sure I can fix it or what I can do because it's got low hours, but hasn't been ran in forever. So, Sam's Club today, dude. I'm looking down. Got dual fuel right there. Dual fuel. Got uh, 4,000 watt. Um, I guess with propane, it uses it. It's it's 3,600 watt, which is pretty good, man. Um, I want to have one of these around this summer in case our electrical grid goes down and I got to put in a window AC unit to which I have two in my garage already. I'm going to be able to pack the whole family in a single bedroom and sleep cool. So I'm going to shoot this reminder out. Move your legs, homie. I'm going to shoot this reminder out to all you dudes. Man, if you got the funds to be a little prepared, be a little prepared. I don't know anything about the engine in this. I was just kind of blown away by how good of a deal it was. Man, because I think that Honda engine uh, generator I have over there, that's 7,000, I think I paid about $800 for that at Costco. Man, close to 10 years ago. Maybe it was like eight, let's see, it'd be probably eight years ago. Eight years ago. And uh, I don't know, this is, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be storing some propane tanks for this big guy. Yeah, I like that. I shortened that shelf up to make room for the refrigerator. I'm still able to keep the bikes there, which I'm pretty stoked on. Um, this mess all has to go. So if you saw the hell in the beginning of that last video, I did get one dent on the top of my new truck, and I'm super bummed on that. Um, it seems lame to go through your insurance to get one little dent on the top fixed. It's probably like about that big. Got you, got, <laughs> got you. Um, but God, it's a new truck too. Like I don't want one dent on it. So I'm probably not gonna end up doing anything with it. However, I'm pretty bummed 
Um, yeah, part of a, a reason I'm glad to have this garage cleaned out now is later on I can move all this stuff up to the front of the garage and we could pull the truck in halfway, right? I think it'll still fit, it's not that high. Yeah. My diamond back cover will protect the back. Why not? Good morning, boy. So, the regular skate day today got ruined again by this weather. Um, we're expecting some potential for severe thunderstorms today. And also the likelihood of maybe some more of that hail. I don't want to deal with it again. What happened was, I'm cruising down the road, I, I go, I notice a piece of ice fall on my car. And I'm like, okay, here's the hell. It's a potential to be large hell. I better find somewhere. And so I'm looking for covered parking. And uh, jump a curb. I happen to see an old bank. Boom, right up under the bank. Not fast enough, though, until a brick landed on my roof. Not really a brick, but I don't know. A piece of hell about that big, maybe. Um First timer. I'm a first timer, so that that really tripped me out, man. Looked like there were chunks of two by four, you know, ice two by fours falling from the sky. It was very unusual. But uh, with another potential hellstorm today, I'm so glad I got the ramp taken out. I got some room. I've gotten rid of some stuff, and that's super helpful to try to save my vehicle. So anyway, we are kind of hammered right now for skateboarding. No chance for any skateboarding videos today. Um, I will tell you, we started riding bikes with another family down the street. And every night after work, I've been working on doing some wheelies, you know. Not a bunch, a handful, maybe five, six in the course of a five-mile ride. I, I, I realized I like to do them a little bit more on an incline. And I got a couple of good spots, and I've had a pretty good amount of progress on wheelies. Like, there's no doubt in my mind I'll be catching a block by the end of summer. No doubt. No doubt in my mind. Like, I'm going to be good at this. Um, but I uh, was being a 50, almost 51-year-old show-off. I wanted to try to ride down some stairs. You know, so I did a flight of stairs. That was okay. There was this big rounded set over at Rab Park, this gigantic set of stairs. And I'm going to go back and do that when I have my camera. But after I did this half flight of stairs on my, uh, my BMX bike, they have this little outdoor pavilion that has this seating area. And it has probably two, two foot ledges. And they go down, and they're sort of a half circle, kind of rounded. And I didn't have a lot of room. I couldn't go, like, perpendicular, just launch off the stair. That would have been easy, I think. Although maybe it's easier going sideways. I don't know. But anyway, I started thinking, I'm going to launch off one of these little ledges. And I, like, don't have enough speed. I'm kind of off balance. There's not a lot of room to line up for this thing. And straight up, dude, straight up, I barely lift up enough. I probably lift up too early. I got this thing going on where I'm starting to fall. What happens? Boom. Totally jack this wrist again. Totally jack this wrist. So, ugh, you know what? You just got to keep living life. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit back on this anymore. I'm going to be fine. Um, I'm going to be fine. That's it. Mentally, the more I baby this, the worse it is. So you know what? Back on the saddle. Beast mode. I need to get it again. Um, done. Done. I've got enough of a foundation on a skateboard that I don't really need to fear it. If you're a beginner and you're starting out, take it slow. Take it real slow. But uh, sometimes... Being more careful and more cautious causes more accidents, you know, like on that bike. If I wouldn't have thought up here and let the fear take over, I would have launched right off that step. It wouldn't have been a problem. 
you know, uh, it's, in, it's in my head, you know, and sometimes that fear makes you wipe out. So anyway, I really hope there's no hell happening here today, but um, if it does, at least I got this truck in. I'm prepared to pull my other car over here up under the big tree. I'm not so sure that trees protect you, but figure they might. Um, this old Tacoma, it got a little dent on the hood, but man, it's old. So anyway, guys, take care. Have a great weekend. And uh, let's pray we get some good skate days. Yes, later.